yar, yar, yar. <laughs> ah, it's Bucko Drink, everyone. Well, things have certainly changed from where we left off last episode, isn't that right? Uh, whoever I'm asking. So Captain Bucko's been doing a little pirating off camera. I landed the ship that we, um, liberated yesterday into the ocean because it kept running out of power and all the people on it were suffocating to death. Which is a <laughs> which is a bizarre outcome for a ship that's supposed to save us. And I also started planning out the space station using whatever resources we have left so that we could actually have a nice staging ground for our space adventures. And I was going to start today's episode with it all being built, given that it's just essentially moving stuff over into the space station so that we can blast off and live up in space. Uh, and then we run out of resources. And I'm going to be honest. Someone in Discord yesterday said that the last episode was a filler episode. And to be honest, they're kind of right, even if it did hurt my feelings. It was a lot of building. It was a lot of building. It was a lot of preparation, okay? But I don't like just saying, hey, here's a space station I built earlier. You've got to earn it. You've, you've got to have the build-up. The best things in life are the things that you build up to. And besides, last episode had some real bangers in it. Uh, literally, all the aero fleets exploded in some sort of uh, biblically driven animal liberation. It's as if Peter themselves pumped my uh, pets with propane. Wow, that was <laughs> accidentally incredible. So today, I don't just want to fly to space. We don't just want to fight in space. We want to live in space. He's called Space Pirate Captain Samurai Bucko Drink. Not just Pirate Captain Samurai Bucko Drink. And there is another very good reason for doing all of this. This ship that we took from the AI. Well, I say took from the AI. The AI is still there. The AI just has absolutely no control. It's not really a combat ship. It's got a load of crypto slip caskets that, quite frankly, we're not going to use. And all we did was take off with the bloody thing, and it almost blew up. So we need to outfit it for combat more, and we can't really build things on the ocean. So we launch a space station up to space. We launch the ship up to space. We fix the ship with the space station. Then we fly into the galaxy. Any questions? <laughs> and if you're wondering, why is he explaining that again? It's because people in Discord were asking why I was building a space station. That's why. Nobody ever listens to me. Just here. And I can't really complain when I'm the one that gets out of bed every morning and puts on the... Puts on the clown makeup and the clown hat and the clown nose. Acts like a clown and then wonders why no one takes me seriously. I mean, it's, it's fairly self-evident. Make sure you keep those lines blurred. What's real and what's not? Maybe none of us are real. Maybe that we're, maybe we're all just remote in real life. Ever think about that? An omnipotent, barely functioning individual so devoid of creativity and passion controlling the lives of other people to escape from their own dull reality. Maybe. Maybe that's all of us. Maybe we're all just NFTs. <laughs> All of my viewers I consider NFTs because you are replaceable. You're all non-fungible. It basically means the same thing. Well, some of you are definitely fungible. Some of, some of you need replacing uh, very, very soon. And another reason why I stopped building and, and stopped planning so I could start playing is because I realized we actually haven't finished uh, the research. For example, we don't have shuttleways. <laughs> it's a space station that no one can leave. Bucko drinks flying space pirate Alcatraz. Brilliant. And I can't deny it might be very interesting to have wave-based survival active while we're trying to build a space station. Desperately fighting tooth and nail to stop them destroying all of this hard work. And it would be a nice resource injection that's speeding up the gameplay, meaning we don't have to sit here and watch this entire base be built very slowly through the means of deep drills for the next five years. I'm convinced. And I'm certainly not trying to bring this back because a lot of people said that they like wave-based survival and I tend to agree with them because it was very interesting and gave the series a unique twist. No, 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 no. But actually, yes. But who is going to be the leader of the waves now that we have Winston Waves? If only there was someone else. Oh, wowee, I can't believe it. Look who has turned up. It's Santa, here to deliver us presents by defeating Waves. Thank you, Santa. Thank you for bailing me out. Round of applause to Santa, everyone. What a guy turning up in our hour of need. So before things start getting too Santa spicy, I'm going to take away all the crap. All of the non-pirate parts of this pirate ship. All of these crypto sleep caskets and auto jet pods are room that we're wasting on not cannons. Room that we're... Is... <laughs> I think you know what I was trying to say. What, what, what don't we need? We want the shuttle bay so that if things are looking bad, if when Bucko and say a few of the crewmates who aren't on the space station are out there raiding... We need a shuttle so that Bucko can get back to the space station in the event that this ship is shot down. You might be thinking, but hang on a minute. The captain goes down with this ship. Well, Bucko drink, he doesn't. Not only is he a hideously greedy boy, but actually just conceptually, he's immortal. Being uh, b blown out into the vacuum of space to resurrect, then immediately die, and then resurrect and immediately die is 
Oh, that's a horrible fate. How many of these turtles? Little turtle? We're attacked by great white sharks. <gasps> Pirate snake. Gigantaconda. Finally, they've added me to RimWorld. Look at the ocean. What's that weird patterns in the ocean? Are you seeing this? What the hell is happening? Now, somebody asked in the comments of last episode, why not put Bucko back in the gene pod? He's immortal. Worst case scenario comes out brain damage, at which point you just cure it with a mech serum or something like that. The simple answer to that is it's, um, <laughs> it's a 95% chance of failure. I think I'm all right. The question is, do we take the lab onto the space station? And I'm not sure we do. I don't want this technology falling into the wrong hands. I mean, it already fell into the wrong hands. It's in, <laughs> it's in Bucko's hands. But I don't want it falling into wronger hands. So I think... I think we smash the lab. There are a lot of valuable components, plastil, things that we need to build the space station. Converting it into a space station seems a, a, a cool fate for the thing that made Bucko drink so powerful. And trust me when I say this is going to save us weeks of deep drilling. So much deep drilling. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm going to bed. This is ridiculous. This is a ridiculous game. I almost missed this entirely. What a fool. Captain Bucko Drink, will you marry me? At some point in the coming days of Quadrums, they will have their marriage ceremony and invite all colonists. The Omnisire will change her last name to Drink. <laughs> and what a fantastic way to celebrate almost finally actually getting into space. The Omnisire and Captain Bucko Drink get married. This is a certified Bucko Drink moment, isn't it? Trying to throw up the flimsiest wall possible in the shortest amount of time so the enemies don't shoot at it in. 13 hours? Hurry up, doggy! No. No. Oh, this is a certified Bucko Drink moment. All right, help me out here. Run, 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 run. Come on. Oh, what a hit. Don't you touch that ship. I will never financially recover from this. I'm gonna touch the ship. They're trying to touch my ship. Bucko! There's an emergency hole. Oh, dear. <laughs> Get him, squad. Shit, I hope that's enough. Oh, I hope that's enough to distract them. They're still going. Let him give a shit. Get the spaceship, they said. It'll have everything you need. You won't suffocate. They're flying, they're flying, they're flying. Okay. I admit, maybe, maybe I should have built the wall to start off with. Vanimetry power cells will be fantastic for the space station. I gotta take artifact artifacts. <laughs> Red Fox, you friggin' idiot. How are you dying to tribal raiders? What a moron. Right, what do we get from our artifact artifacts? Eight psychic pulse soothers. Good. Good. Well, it turns out building a space station is really, really easy. All you need is a giant ship you can strip all the useless crap off of, and then to have almost everybody in the colony above 18 construction. <laughs> It's that simple. And Santa has very kindly sent us mechanoids that we can grind up and turn into more parts of the space station. Thanks, Santa. Very cool. Even if you do just give us some bloody psychic soothe pulses. Oh, we're gonna have to fight him the old-fashioned way. Bucko still isn't here. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm just looking at our people. I think we'll probably be fine. God oh, damn, they are still really tanky, though, aren't they? Holy shit. And the base is built out of wood. That's also a... <laughs> That's also a fairly sizable concern. What is this random modifier? Obviously, we've got lightning strikes everywhere, which is um, doing me a significant frighten. God, I can't wait to be in space. Nothing ever catches fire in space. Whoa! I think that's the first centipede we've ever seen with one of these raids, huh? Wowee, hello. Oh, good lord, they are so tanky. What was that? Oh, it's just my turrets exploding. Don't worry about it. It's not like we need plastic and components for anything else. That's all right. I, I mean, just... Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay. Okay, there you go. Oh, lab parts. No, we'll take the, take the healer mix. Thank you. Memes again? Memes! Oh. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. <laughs> Memes again, again? Me! Okay, well, I mean, obviously, that was reinforcements. I knew that was going to happen. Uranium. Give me the uranium. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Life goes on. Well, except for the anima tray, of course, and those raiders. <laughs> now for the real question. Are we ready to go to space permanently and abandon our pirate harbor? 
I mean, yeah, yeah, we actually are. Like, I could press the launch button right now, and we'd probably be able to live up there forever. I had to make one or two changes, because I... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I threw down a couple of extra reactors here. It's a backup reactor. I don't think it's necessary. I also wasted uh, just a... It's a staggering amount of uranium because I realized I set this to uh, make a thousand uranium fuel pods so they were just refueling this forever. So we have wasted a staggering amount of uranium at this stage. We also have the cloaking device to keep Bucko's station nice and safe. So this station is just going to be where they live their lives. They have a fun time. They count their gold and do whatever else. Build a pirate paradise. We'll expand it as we go. Any ships we steal from, we'll use to build up the space station and it'll be fantastic. Except for the fact that the cloaking device puts out just a lot of heat. Just a real massive amount of heat. So I had them build some heat sinks, which work fine. They, they keep the temperature at a nice equilibrium. Unfortunately, that room is now 200 degrees C. So <laughs> don't stand in there for too long. But the problem now is even having taken apart a massive chunk of the ship that we salvaged, that's pretty much it. Like, we're pretty much out of resources. We've got a lot of plast steel. We've got a lot of regular steel. Everything else is used up. And more importantly, it all needs hauling over. We could take off now. Actually, could we take off now if I built too much? Oh, no, ship requires either a pilot or an air core. So we could take off now. Then we launch this ship too. We get it outfitted with some good weapons, like better weapons than it had rather than sleep pods. This thing leads all the daring raids. And then we take all the treasure back to the space station, build a load of ports. We got a load of shuttle ships and traders like we had going on before, but we built that, that kind of brief trading station here. This is going to be fantastic. This is going to be the greatest pirate space station you've ever seen, which I can't imagine has much competition. So without further ado... And quite frankly, pissing around. Captain Bucko and the Power Armor Squad will be launching up in the space station. And the war caskets are going to be taking up Bucko's battleship, whatever we'll rename it. We're definitely not going to call it the Deirdre's Revenge. <laughs> we know what happens. And the dream of finally becoming space pirate Captain Bucko Drink comes true. Did I forget anything? Probably should have done some final checks. I really should have... I did put heaters down this time, so we got that going for us, which is quite nice. Would you look at that? Are we actually? Are we actually fine, Bucko? You can stop manning now. You, you, you're good. Scanning. The sc I was just gonna scan at the ship bridge. That's fine. Are we? Are we actually fine? Breathable atmosphere, 20 degrees C. How's the heat sinks doing? 100 and ah, uh, it's getting up there again. We certainly need to do something about the about the heat issues. Retracted. How do I make them not retracted? Uh. I have no idea. You don't worry about that later. Oh, shit. Minus 4,200 watts in the grid, even with two power plants. Okay, well, luckily I made a ridiculous amount of power uh, uh, things. What are they called? Fuel pods? I'm qualified. <laughs> We're qualified to be here. Don't panic. Let's just turn on overdrive, which is at, like double the fuel, but gives way more power. That should keep us going for a while. Yeah, the cloaking device is 5,000 watts, but given that we're up here with no... No weapons or anything. I think that's a necessary evil. We need to make sure the cloaking device is on more than anything else. I think what we do need is to build some some solar panels or something like that. Something that can always keep the keep the cloaking device running. Let's launch the other ship too then. Ah oh, shit. Oh, because the reactor's putting out more heat. Okay, okay, so we've already got a bit of a space problem. This is a, this is a bit of a space fucky wucky. Uh, what if we just turn this reactor off? Because we've got 10,000 watts. Just turn that off. Just turn it off. Just turn it off. And then you got problem solved, right? We good? We don't need the shields up if we've got the cloaking device on. So you can turn those off too. Oh, this is genius. I'm a genius. That's why That's why it's not venting heat. That's why it's not venting heat, you fool. And then... Good as new? Good as new, though. No, 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 no. What do you mean retracted? Why retracted? You can't, you can't vent heat while you're cloaked? What the hell are you talking about? Maybe? Let's try it. Oh, don't turn it off for long, though. Uh, I don't know if it, we're actually... Oh, it's off. It's off. It's off. You can't vent heat when you're cloaked. I'm being bullied? Oh, this doesn't seem fair. All right, so the first thing we have to expand the space station with is definitely some sort of... Uh, definitely some sort of heating issue. There's some sort of heating solution to our heating issue. In the meantime, let's get the ship up in orbit as well. So that way, if bad things happen... We can always just we can always just send the people off of the space station onto the spaceship. It'll be cramped and everybody will starve to death, but it's better than nothing. Uh you guys good though? Hypothermia. They were in power armor. They're in power armor. It's okay. It's okay. They can go out into space like that. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> You gotta appreciate Ken in the wheelchair floating through orbit. 
That's, that, that's very bizarre. Okay, so that ship's doing like absolutely fine. But it's a space station that's got a, uh, got a few problems. All right, well, let's start working on expansion then. I want to move it into the middle of the map. Firstly, if we can actually do that. I want to move it right into the middle so that we can expand out as much as possible. Can we also send this guy out to go and do some hit and run missions by itself? Yeah, we can. Approach damage agricultural station. That is exactly what I was hoping. Otherwise, all my plans would be ruined if we can't have a station and a spaceship at the same time. That would, that would have fucked everything up. But before we commit fully to the space adventures, there is one last thing to do. A sad day has dawned on Bucko's Island. Because it's not Bucko's Island anymore. Our home for all these years, but he's called Space Pirate Captain Bucko Drink, not Pirate Captain Bucko Drink. Goodbye, Bucko's crew. And there it goes. Oh my god, we left the people on the outpost. Oh, but they've got, they've got transport pods, right? They can just blast it up to us in orbit. That's kind of cool. We can still set up, we can capture people from other enemy ships, blast them onto the planet, and populate the planet with Bucko's crew while we're on the space station. That is the biggest, coolest brain thing I've ever heard in my life. So I want to drop this about there, right? That looks pretty much bang on the middle of the map. It's not going to be perfect, but I think that's good enough. I'll, no, no, like, actually, what? Why can't I put it there, though? What's going on? Uh... Ah, oh, because Bucko was in the way. Classic Captain Bucko. There we go. And we can build up from there pretty much right away if we want. We got enough steel, plastic, steel, and components to get a few walls down. How's the heat looking? Was I actually fine now? What the hell? But it's the coldest building in the... Oh, I wonder if it's where... I wonder if it's where the power grip was coming back on. The air conditioning units weren't on yet. <laughs> As if air conditioning almost took out our space station. I can't think of why else it wouldn't work. Because these don't need power, do they? No, they don't. So I can fly now. I mean, shields are still on? Yeah, I... I don't know why that's not on fire anymore. Do so you want to move this ship onto this side? Because that's more or less going to be the kind of docking bay. Let's throw you right there. <laughs> Love it, just kind of kind of holds on for a second, then teleports over. Nothing personnel, kid. I wonder if the cloaking device affects the whole map. Because I started building one on here, and, but, I, but I think we might not need it. I'm going to assume we don't need it because it's just one big it's one big base, right? It's not as if like the shield generator this covers a certain area of the map. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be all right. The first things first, I think I've got to expand out the utility part of the station, right? We can't just have four heat sinks off in a cupboard somewhere and <laughs> assume that's going to work fine. So I want to upgrade that and I want to, I want to try and make sure the, sh the, the, the station always has power. Because if we can't get uranium from, say, a, a trade ship or from scavenging, from, from scanning for ships or whatever, we've got to make sure we can still keep the, the, the cloaking device on. Otherwise, we're just going to get shot down. So there are solar panels. If we can build enough of those to keep the station going, I think that'll be pretty nice. Because we don't really need the engines anymore. Because it's a space station. Let's get rid of those. That's the first thing we do. We get rid of those. We can replace this whole back section with just shitloads of heat sinks and air conditioners. Derelict ship detected. You know what? Send the crew out. I mean, we're we're pirates. It's not really piracy if someone someone doesn't own it. I need to I need to know what I'm doing before I can fully commit to piracy. Okay, I I need to be able to understand the mechanics a little bit better. Maybe something a little bit like that. Just just fill it with heat sinks and, and air conditioners. We'll be good. Well, I was gonna fill the whole room, but I don't think we've got enough resources. More importantly, it's minus nine degrees C. I don't think we really need it. Now on to the important things. A piracy. Because we've done shockingly little of that so far. Space pirate Captain Bucko Drink isn't really known for any of those things. He needs to make a name for himself out there. The problem with this ship, though, is I don't think it has enough power to really keep itself going. The autocannon turret, sure, will stop against enemy raiders. But would I rather have some big old guns on the outside instead? Yeah, probably. What has this thing got on it right now? Four lasers, four cannons. Ooh. I mean, I like the cannons, don't get me wrong. Like, rail guns, though? Spinal capacitor? That'd be quite fun. <laughs> I don't think we've got the resources quite for that one, but that would be a lot of fun. Oh, hang on, can't you? There we go. Large plasma turrets. Oh, that seems way more fun. Yeah, give me a, give me a, give me a couple of those. I've got to be careful of the power. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. Worst case scenario, we got, like, overdrive. If we're, in, if we're in a real bit of trouble, we should just about have enough resources to get this a bit more outfitted. We've got to be a little careful here. Using your ship sensors, Captain Bucko has detected a nearby ship. A hostile light frigate. Uh, can we move to attack it now, though? We could. We could. Is this ship ready? We've only got one large plasma turret. Uh, and a giant hole in it. <laughs> Probably a lot more relevant. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. The only times I've played Save Our Ship is when it's been so uh, so modded that it doesn't even look like Save Our Ship anymore. There's a lot more pressure to get things right. 
Captain Bucko's crew and reputation is on the line. Oh, we're out of steel and gold. We can't make any more advanced components. Uh, have we loaded advanced components into there? No. No. Shit. So we were able to get one more gun on it. Brilliant. <laughs> Outstanding. On the plus side, though, the heat management on this ship is going to be 10 times better because we've got the air conditioning units. All good spaceships need air conditioning units. So by taking apart some of the extra crap that we don't need in the space station, all the extra kind of heating stuff that's completely irrelevant there, we got ourselves another large plasma turret. It's a little bit, it's a little more outfitted now. I'm still not confident, but let's go for it. Let's do some piracy. Fuck them on the war caskets. That's all the crew you need. Get in here. God, if they're shot out of the sky, I will, I will cry. You get, you guys get back on the other ship. You guys have got to run that, run, run this, run everything over there. And actually, we could do with another shuttle craft on this ship, so that we can actually go onto asteroids and grab materials from that as well. I right, was lock the doors, lock the doors, and then fly, a little bucko. It's time to go do a little, little, little piracy. All right, never mind, they've gone. Uh, like I was saying, piracy will come, come tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Fuck, it's too slow. Never mind, bucko's found another. What have we got? A broadhead destroyer. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> does, that, does, that, does that sound like something we could take on? We need just like our, we need like our tiny little ship. I don't know, like, 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 like some sort of basic vessel. Maybe they went above the speed limit. What, the, what do you mean unroofed? It's not unroofed. Unroofed one? How is it unroofed? Am I going insane? We can't grow any crops because... <sighs> <laughs> Ah, this is, this is fine. This is fine. This is, everything's okay. Broadhead Destroyer's gone. We're safe. Come on, Bucko. Find us something to shoot down. For God's sake, we need some piracy going on at some point today. I, I don't know what to say. You, you can't send one ship off and leave one behind. You, you can't do it. it. It all goes together. So, um, space station plan's kind of, kind of fucked. It's kind of fucked. Obviously, I didn't make myself clear with the plan. I wanted to keep this on one map and then send this on another. Go do Darren things. Bring the loot back. Build a little pirate empire up in space. Can't do that. Uh, so instead, we're just going to weld the fucking things together. Perfect. Now they will know the power of Bucko Drink. <laughs> what a hideous spaceship. I can redeem it, though. I have, some, I have some ideas for this. And besides, the bridge is the most important part of the ship. I think if that's destroyed, the ship itself is destroyed. Accidentally having it almost perfectly in the middle of the ship is... Is insane. That's, that's a phenomenal accident. So let's get to stripping out all the parts of the top part of the... A one big ship that we have now. Oh, we certainly don't need a kitchen when we've got a state-of-the-art one right at the bottom of the freaking ship. <laughs> ah, we got room for a hospital, though. That's that's good. That's one thing that I needed to build. Oh, shit, and all this furniture was built out of plastic. Oh, this might have been... This might have been a blessing in disguise. And we've got our AI core attached to the main thing now, so that's good. We don't need someone manning the, the, the ship. Maybe this was a better idea. Maybe this was a better idea. I just had a dream of using the 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 spaceports mod that we had and building that off of a ship. We could still do that, of course. There's no reason why we can't now that I think about it. But having that and a little space station, then we send out a ship and we bring it back to the space station. It would have been kind of cool. Like Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Anybody watch that? No. Why are you bullying me all of a sudden? What is this? No, 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 no. You know, Mr. Worf? Winston Waves could have been our Mr. Worf, you know? Captain, I must protest. And then he always gets his ass handed to him every single time. And then you're like, wow, they're really strong. No. I just thought it would have been cool to have a space station. Now instead we've got this rather phallic, questionable spaceship. Definitely need to bulk up in the middle here. This is... <laughs> this is this is a little bit structurally unsound, isn't it? Made from itchy tasty. <gasps> no! Oh my god, they're actually loading in now. Every other raid we've had on the outpost haven't worked. I, got, I bet it was wave-based survival. Now that we're not on wave-based survival, they're just going to massacre my people. Not Shizuka Claudia, Jumper, Bishop, Diva, Dog, and Mantis. Damn it. I mean, they... I, uh, jokes aside, they were actually sending up quite a lot of steel to the spaceship. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, shit. Outpost battle won. <laughs> now that right there... That, I think, is called making the best of a bad situation. We've got so much room for guns or heat sinks or whatever it is we want now. And by having this little protected area here, not only is it going to protect the middle section a little bit more, but we could throw in a shitload of these solar generators when we when we have the resources, where we're, like, completely scraping the barrel on the resource front. Also, there's no water in space, so they're all very, very stinky. Everybody is very upset because they are very stinky. What we need now... 
Hey, something's going pirate. I mean, we could go and attack this interstellar ship parts trader and probably get blown up. We're just going to wait. They're going to chill. If there's if there's a derelict, we'll go and salvage a derelict. If there's a tiny little vessel that I feel confident attacking, we'll go attack that one. Until then, it's going to be a nice quiet time here. I don't want to jump in and say, let's go for a destroyer. Let's go for a big ship and get blown up immediately because I, I will actually cry at this point. I'm on the verge of a mental breakdown. A pirate needle class. What the hell is a pirate needle class? You think we could just go and take a look? We could probably get away if it's a if it's a problem. We could probably escape quick enough, right? We don't have any engines. Oh no. <laughs> we haven't got any engines. You haven't got any engines. And we haven't got any steel either. Hey, uh outpost. Mining outpost. Ask him for a friend. Marble blocks. I don't want marble blocks. I can't mine steel anymore. Well, this is the worst day of my life. Well, we have an engine, but don't panic. I discovered something. Something about myself. I discovered that I need to go outside. What I actually discovered is that you can remove floor on a spaceship, but it doesn't dig up the hole. So A, we can get rid of all this actually horrible limestone floor. But B, the ship that we captured, the ship that we merged with this, I saw steel tiles. It's all steel. Well, it's not all steel tiles, but a lot of it is steel tiles. We're probably sitting on thousands of steel here. And that's the thing that we don't have. This might be a blessing. Oh, Octavian. Okay, we're, we're saved. We're saved. We're actually fine. Look at it. My God, look at it. We've been redeemed. This is incredible. My God, it actually worked. Is it, is it every single engine? Oh, this is the best day of my life. Oh, what a redemption arc. I had no idea what I was doing coming into this. I had plans that were beyond the scope of the mod. And to be fair, I've never played it properly before. My aptitude outstripped my ambition, but my God, I've redeemed it. <laughs> Through pure accident. And then with all of the slime stuff we're getting back, we can replace kind of the... Uh, Kind of the, the less relevant things that replace these shelves with limestone or say a ridiculous amount of steel dining chairs with limestone. It, it's not going to be much, but it is going to add up. Oh. <laughs> How long have you been out there, Omnissiah? I, I, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't realize. I didn't realize you were still trapped outside. My bad. No, I don't think six engines is enough. The one thing I do know about Save Our Ship is how the combat works. And I know that this isn't going to allow us to move very fast at all. This is a big ship with six very small engines by comparison. So it's certainly not ideal. But it's better than nothing. That much is indisputable. Oh, we have enough resources to build a nuclear engine. Well, that sounds quite good. Yeah, I'll, I'll take one of those. Hopefully two of them. Wrecked fuel depot. You're telling me there's resources. Bucko. Bucko, my God, have we done it? Ah. Oh. Okay, there's a turret on it, which is still active. So we're going to, have to be a little bit careful. Lots of fuel, lots of plastic. Oh, we could take this thing apart in, in, in no time. We've got to take a, a shuttle over, though, I assume. Can we get those to shoot the... Well, fire because you're not in ship combat. Oh, I was going to see if we could shoot out the turrets with, with, with our ship turrets beforehand. But I guess the point is you're supposed to go over on a shuttle, right? And be a bit more risky. Red Fox, Loctavian, Kroom, and Winston. So we just want to go ahead and land somewhere where we're not going to get shot. There's not many places. Can we, can we land there? Apparently so. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's nice. They take a little while to fly over there, I assume. Ah! There you go. Well, let's get those turrets taken out. Unless they don't shoot us. No, they're definitely angry. Get him. Get him, Winston. This might have been overkill. This might have been overkill just for taking out one abandoned fuel depot, but never mind. Actually, no, not at all. These things are quite tanky. Holy crap. Uh, maybe, maybe some cover would be good. Maybe we go in there and we just turn off the power plant. Maybe that would have made more sense too. You know I don't think about these things. Does this count as piracy? I'm not sure it does. I'm, I'm really not sure it does. I, I mean, technically we're, we're in combat with an enemy vessel. We boarded an enemy vessel to steal their resources. I mean, by definition, it's piracy. Oh, Red Fox. <gasps> Shot right in the eye. You're telling me from our first space piracy mission, Red Fox comes back with an eye patch. That's incredible. It was the best thing I've ever heard. Maybe, well, Red Fox probably doesn't agree. <laughs> okay, I think the ship's safe then in that case, right? Can we not go through the airlocks? Oh, shit. I've actually got to crack these doors open. It's kind of annoying. Oh, nice. Minimal ship bridge, ship capacitor. How, how do I get the stuff out of it, though? We can't deconstruct anything. Ah, what do we? Oh, hold on a second. 
Well, this is way cooler. A nuclear rocket, you say? Thank you. Oh, that's not overcompensating for anything there, bucko. Well, I'll throw down another one of those for sure. Uh, how how do we how do we actually salvage it? Wow, this is this is a learning curve. It's all about learning. That's why we're here. Do we have to like operate the salvage bay? No. I mean, there's something still hostile on there. No. Oh! <laughs> Well, that answers that question. Ah, uh, I was not expecting whatever the fuck a Cosmo pillar is. Oh, Loctavian. Sweet Loctavian. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Get, get out of there. Maybe don't even run and gun. Oh, God. Oh, shit. That maybe explains why we're not able to claim anything. I'm not entirely sure. Well, let's turn into alien bloody fast. Get him. Oh, shred him, squad. Hey, be careful you don't shred those valuables. Uh, you watch out for that. There you go, there you go. Ah, uh, instant, please don't f fire that in a room filled with cam fuel. Are we good now? Still can't deconstruct anything. Maybe I have to manually select it to be deconstructed. No. We gotta, we gotta like, claim it. Can we, can we claim the ship? Hack! We need a master hacker. Livingston! I'm so sorry I left you behind. Okay, I know for next time, though. Okay, we hack it and then we claim it. I bet that's how it works. I bet that's exactly how it works. He's, begin he's beginning to believe. And now we can deconstruct. We absolutely can. Oh, I'm a genius. <laughs> For understanding this very basic mechanic, I am a genius. Take it all apart. Strip the whole thing. We need everything we can get. 1,500 steel? And that's just in the first go before we take anything apart. I'm sending Winston back so that we can swap the Warcast kit for someone who can actually do deconstruction. There is an option here to deconstruct the enemy ship and reclaim a portion of its resources. As I recall, is it not every salvage bay can carry a hundred resources or a thousand? That's it, a thousand kilograms of material from a ship. So ideally we build another one of those. Th is there any gold? If we could build another one of these, that would certainly speed things up rather than <laughs> rather than doing it like this. Although we've got the cloaking device, it's not as if we're in a hurry. We can stay here for as long as we like. It's as long as we can bear to stay there, right? This is a momentous time, my friends. The first ever haul from Bucko Space Piracy. Here you go. Drop, drop that ship down. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, a parrot for Bucko. Lilac Mega Keat. Give me that. Connie cannot afford this deal. Ah, oh, shit. Give him some medicine. Medicine for parrot. Give me that. What does it land? Oh. In the salvage bay. Oh. Giant purple bird! <laughs> Finally, Bucko has a parrot. Ah, please don't wander outside space, parrot. I'm going to have to limit it to an area, I suppose. Wow. Holy crap. What a, what a great day. What a shit start. But what a, what a redemption arc there, though. The ship looks pretty damn cool to say all I did was weld two ships together. We've got a shitload more resources coming in with advanced components and all sorts of other fancy crap, whatever we managed to salvage up from this place. Well, this is great. Uh, the only problem we have is um, we're out of fuel. Like we're actually out of fuel now. So we need to find a way to get uranium, but other than that, things are fine. So we'll load our people on, we'll, we'll get the last of it just into the shuttle, whatever we can manage, because we can only do one more journey there and back, so it's like 25 fuel per journey. Then... We'll just salvage the enemy ship and see if we can find some uranium somewhere. But I haven't fueled these things so friggin' much, it wouldn't be a problem. And then when I'm confident that we have enough guns and enough heat sinks and enough shields and everything, we'll get rid of the cloaking device. We're not cowards. Or we are kind of. But we're not that much of a coward. We're not going to be cowards when we know we're not going to lose. But if, if there's a chance we'll lose, we'll absolutely be cowards. Well, what else can I say besides thank you all for watching? Uh, well, maybe thank you for bearing with me while I worked out what the hell was going on over the course of today. And a thank you in the meantime to the executive producers for making the channel possible in the first place. A big thank you to Juseda, Zalad the Impaler, Evan Crocker, Mr. Moosh, Psychofire, Q, Gammon Jew, Justin Rules, Mertz, Skirt, D Sync, Night Rouge, Elmadel Solomonis, and Voodoo Mumbo. Along with everyone else, of course, the executive producer tears over on Patreon for their support and the executive producer tears over on Patreon. Thank you for bearing with me. Today was uh, taxing both physically and mentally, on on probably all of us, <laughs> everybody watching. Thank you to NoPM, Axel PJ, Cody Cope, Kipos, Nia Ragupin, RandomMan9989, EvanDragon323, Green King, Mr. Cases, Cheese King 21 Quivala, Yeetie Breakfast, Logical Builder, Brennick, Canopus, Bo-Bo-Bo-Bo-Bo-Bo-Bo, and Cameron. See you all tomorrow. 
when I actually know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing now. We're, we're all good. Everything's fine. 